A bridge collapse kills a construction worker and shuts down a major interstate. We've been staying on top of this breaking news for you with team coverage of the accident. Let's start with Christy Davis. She's leading the way with more on what we've learned overnight. Christy, good morning. Good morning, Lisa. Yeah, we've got a new vantage point for you here. We had to move from our post on the Hoppel Street exit just over the accident, but you can still see right behind us where the old Hoppel Street bridge sort of just drops off. That is where that concrete fell last night, and just underneath it, you see the tractor trailer, that concrete resting right on the nose of that truck. Really hard to believe the truck driver suffered non life threatening injuries in that incident. However, as you said, one person did die, a construction worker died when that concrete fell. It's all happened around 10:30 last night as construction crews worked to take down part of the old Hoffle Street Bridge. That's when a section of the bridge collapsed, sending concrete onto the southbound lanes of I-75. Rescue crews were able to recover the body of that construction worker who died around 3 o'clock this morning. Police Chief Jeffrey Blackwell told WLWT News 5 the tractor trailer that you saw was only seconds away from being crushed completely by that falling concrete. Now, an on duty police officer did recall seeing the bridge swaying before coming down, and people living nearby said they could feel the collapse as it happened. I just heard a loud thud, and the, and the house shook. It felt like an earthquake. It shook uh, hard enough to where I'm sure the whole uh, neighborhood felt it. It just looks like the part of the bridge uh, the, that they're going to be eventually taking down anyway had just collapsed over top of uh, 75. Um, you know, there's a, a, a backhoe on there. Yeah. It, it just, in, in my opinion, it looks like maybe that had something to do with the with the bridge falling. So. Now you saw those bright lights over there. Workers have been out really all night. They've been sifting through the rubble. They're trying to do some of the work to figure out how this happened. But until they're able to clear the concrete off of 75, they're asking anyone who really can avoid driving this way to do so. Mark and Lisa. Christy, video of this amazing scene is all over the national news for sure. You're there on scene. People are actually stopping there trying to take a picture of the interstate. There have been quite a few people, you know, curious about what happened who were trying to stop, especially where we were just before on the newer Hopple Street exit bridge. They would pull over, get out of their cars, and then walk up to some of these gates and try and see the part of the bridge that collapsed onto the truck. Now, we really don't want folks to do that. We want to keep everyone as safe as possible. We don't want any more accidents or injuries to result from people stopping to try and get a look. Like you said, there is video everywhere. It's online on WLWT.com. We've got it here for you on air. We're tweeting out pictures. There are a lot of ways if you'd like to know more about what happened to find out about what happened and to see some of the pictures from this accident. But please do not drive up and stop and especially don't get out of your car to try and take any pictures for yourself. Please just leave that to us. Reporting live, Christy Davis, WLWT News 5. Christy, thank you. WLWT has several crews on the scene giving you different views of the interstate shutdown right now. With a look at what's next in the investigation, let's go to WLWT News 5's and Andrew Setters with more. Andrew. Well, Mark, you realize how vital I-75 is when you realize how strange it looks to see no traffic moving on southbound I-75. This is the accident scene looking south towards the uh, collapsed piece of the Hopple Street overpass there. All the reasons we've heard about why it's so critical to replace the Brent Spence Bridge just a little farther south here on I-75 will be proven in the next few days with I-75 partially closed here. The interstate is a major north-south artery for this part of the country. America moves by truck. Those trucks move along I-75. This has far-reaching implications on more than just traffic as well. Investigators will be working to figure out exactly why this happened. Was there something specific to this span and this work that was going on here last night? Or was this accident that happened here something that could be repeated with similar demolition work is taking place? Again, they were tearing down the old I-75 uh, the overpass over I-75 at Hopple Street it means not just city but state and even federal investigators could be involved here. The tragedy. You know, we have a piece of heavy equipment and a bridge collapse, and we do have one deceased. So we're going to be dealing with that, making the appropriate notifications, as well as trying to do um, the best we can to get the freeway open um, within an expeditious time frame.
Well, that time frame right now is being placed at maybe 48 hours, but that is just the best guess uh, from the police here last night. This is being referred to as a workplace accident. That would presumably mean federal agencies, maybe like OSHA, would be involved in the accident investigation here, along with uh, the State Department of Transportation, trying to figure out exactly why this piece of overpass that was being dismantled fell down, killing a construction worker. Reporting live, Andrew Setters, WLWT News 5.